Again, some more of the network settings after it does that copy part. Typical should be fine. Specify work group, defaults work group. Um, another default would be MS Home, possibly. Um, just going to go through and accept the defaults for all this. Um, file list is going to be built. Um, a little bit more driver stuff will sometimes happen after this. And um, then it's going to possibly, the screen will possibly flicker on you a couple times. Um, now I'll be trying to do some stuff with the graphics card. Um, going to copy more files, and then it's going to start um, writing the actual configuration to the hard drive, actually storing the registry, all that stuff. Um, so, okay, after that uh, initial phase of going through copying files, whatnot, Windows restarts again, and you'll probably get this message uh, Windows wanting to improve the display resolution. Go ahead and let it try. Um, if it can't, it can't. If it does, it does. It's pretty simple. I've never seen that really fail. Um, it's going to go through and do some more additional. Um, so, whoa, mouse froze for a second. Um, going to go through, do a couple more file copying, um, I do believe. And it's um, basically putting in more registry entries for your um, user accounts. Uh, things of that sort. Okay, now the fun part. Uh, that will finish up and then we get some nice music. Press next. If you don't get music, that means your sound card has not been recognized. You will need your sound card drivers. Um, I'll have to do a video one time on how to find this uh, audio file because it is actually very long. It's going to go through, try and check your internet connectivity. Um, it may or may not find it. Um, go ahead and just tell it exactly what you will be doing at this phase just to save yourself some trouble later, even if it's not working at the moment. So, next, because we're connecting through a local network. Um, you should go ahead and activate Windows over the internet, but since I'm basically reusing a license just for a demo, I'm not going to because I don't want to invalidate my other installation because this thing's just going to get erased um, after this video is done. And you can put in all the user accounts you want. If you're going to go through and set up limited accounts, um, don't put those in yet. Um, it's, in my opinion, better to go through and do those later after you've already set up your administrator. That's the sound of victory. Just kidding. It's it's just a normal Windows XP sound. Um, it's going to go through, do more prepping of your user profile here. Um, that owner account just created, it's setting that up a little bit. Um, if you have an OEM disk, it's going to go ahead and log in as administrator. Um, so I think you start putting on your desktop. Um, when you restart the computer and log in as that um, user account you created, it's going to not have those icons on your desktop. Uh, so just so you know that. Uh, that is in some um, builds of the XP OEM disk. Uh, I noticed that on some slip streams it'll do that. So some I've seen it not do it, some I've seen do it. Just so you know if it happens, that's what happened. <clears throat> now if you were good and already downloaded all of your drivers um, just hook up your external drive it'll show up um, USB drives by default are built into XP so there's nothing special about that um, go through and install them um, if you're curious about what you do not have installed um, start menu right click your my computer icon go to manage and then go to device manager and this is where you want to see all the stuff that is not installed and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my XP disk come on sit up here 
And with that out, I'm going to go ahead and install um, the drivers for my system, which is going to be through um, VMware um, Tools. And that's going to add all my drivers for that. Um, what you would need to do is hook up your USB drive. I would say copy the driver files over, put them onto the desktop and run the installers form. Some will make you go through device manager and manually install them. That's just one of those things you have to go through and basically put up with. Um, depending on what kind of computer you got, um, the driver installation is going to be different depending on each device driver it can be different. Um, most installations nowadays have a setup utility. You just double click it, run it, you choose what you want to install and you do it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, once every free thing as far as your network drivers are installed, um, you can go through and you know copy your files back on there, your my documents, your pictures, all that stuff. Um, I'll probably make a video at some point on how to back up your stuff um, just so that you know you know where things are located. And that's it. Um, of course, you need to go through reinstall any programs because um, what you got on here is just plain Windows, straight up Windows. That's all you get with Windows XP right there. Um, and please go through and do all of your Windows updates. Um, I've seen perfectly good systems um, that people spend the time to go through, wipe it out, reload it. They corrupt it in just a matter of minutes by going online start browsing the web without getting all their updates um, that's critical nowadays people you got to have your windows updates um, another tip um, if you have devices that aren't showing up or being detected like I have here a few of those things um, don't activate windows yet um, activate it after you get all your drivers installed and chances are if you've had XP on there before it should just go on through and activate no problem um, if you didn't um, do that it's going to see some things that's different and it's basically going to say hey you're going to need to contact Microsoft good chance of it not all the time but good chance and uh, don't worry about the Microsoft phone activation if you get that it's actually pretty normal nowadays um, to see that um, pretty much you just want to make sure you're not installing on multiple computers illegally so just answer your question straight up and they'll get it um, if you did go through and get that message it's usually because you've installed it a couple times or it just does not recognize some hardware so that's it. Feel free to leave some comments on here if you got any questions. Uh, again, you can visit us at uh, www.defcon-5/knock, and hopefully this takes care of all the questions you guys had about this. So, until next time, I will see you later.